Thanks indeed. Right. Now on to a quickie for our third community element for today. This is the Community Elements Show and the programme goes out again Saturday and Sunday from 12pm to 1pm and you can hear this again as a podcast as well. Now, thinking more about the environment. Yes, we're thinking a lot about the environment and we're thinking about what can actually be done to make a difference. And one of the things that people are doing increasingly is turning to uh, allotments. And uh, I was this week uh, accompanying some green flag judges around an allotment at Slopefield Allotments and uh, meeting up with a school and uh, the school was uh, Airy Hall Primary School and they have uh, and help out at the uh, community allotment at the Slopefield Allotments and that's not far from the Airy Hall School itself. And uh, one of the things I was learning about as I was walking around with the judges was that there is a much greater emphasis by people on actually growing produce for themselves and indeed that certainly shortens down the amount of air miles and it makes a huge difference as well. And there's a waiting list for allotments. People uh, often now like to go and do much more by way of work on allotments. I know one gentleman who was uh, with us and uh, he had previously been working and uh, a volunteer and I think chairman actually uh, with a local hospital radio station uh, called uh, Grampian Hospital Radio and uh, anyway he has now turned to uh, coming to his allotment uh, in of an evening or of the weekend and growing food for himself and has taken uh, quite a, a leading role in that. One of the other things that uh, people have been doing is to have beehives uh, on their allotments and it's up to Muggins to go around uh, for the local authority and say whether people can have beehives on their allotments. Um, but what we're trying to do, as well as having beehives, because bees, honeybees are only one type of bee, but there are 250 different kinds of bee in the UK, and we want to encourage um, also uh, other types of bee, for example, uh, 24 species of bumblebee, and uh, the rest are solitary bees and only one type of honeybee. But we want to encourage a quite wide range of uh, pollinators to come uh, and uh, just going around the allotments, uh, many people were growing uh, different flowers and uh, flowers of different lengths, uh, flowers of different colours. And these different lengths and different colours would favour different kinds of bee, different kinds of insect. Uh, so it's really, really pleasing to see indeed. Now, one of the things that, uh, as I'm recording this on a Thursday, uh, a Friday rather, I'm going to have to go over to the bees this afternoon and uh, actually go and sort them out. I've got to go and add some extra frames to the hives to make sure that they can build out frames. So what's actually been happening down at the apiary? Well, about two or three weeks back, uh, we noted that in the hives there were some queen cells now queen cells are produced uh, when the colony feels it's like just getting to a bursting point and these are long queen cells much longer than normal uh, worker brood cells and these queen cells uh, the queens inside the, the grubs have been fed up the brood has been fed up on a special diet of uh, royal jelly and this royal jelly is produced from honey and has been produced from pollen and is really rich in vitamins and everything that a, a queen needs. Now these queen cells are produced, quite a few of them are produced just to, by the colony just to make sure that the colony has the best chance of surviving. And that's in a sense why many plants will produce so many seeds. They produce seeds because they're not sure uh, how many plants will survive but they want to be able to put it in the best that they can and make sure that in this case the colony of bees has the best chance. 
Now, beekeepers uh, capitalise on that uh, because once the bee... Uh, bees to produce these queen cells it means that they're going to swarm swarming is a natural function of bees and beekeepers realize that they don't want to be losing all their bees or their queen so what they now do is uh, there's a special method by which individual frames for example with queen cells on can be put into another beehive box into another brood box along with some other frames uh, which can be like nurse bees and in this way, um, we're, we've been able to divide up uh, one hive into three hives. So we now have actually four hives, hopefully worth of bees. And I'm going to put some extra frames in alongside. And that will hopefully mean that the bees can build out and build out. And uh, they will might actually be able to uh, make a huge difference during this summer. And we will have four working colonies of bees instead of just two. Uh, so that's what we've been doing. Uh, so this afternoon, uh, Muggins will be out uh, and making sure that the bees have everything that they need to uh, be able to function while we're away. And it's generally a good idea just to let the bees get on with things. Uh, they usually sort everything out according to uh, what they believe is best. Uh, they're a pretty canny bunch, those bees, you know. Anyway, the, the hope is that uh, even by next year, we'll have uh, four colonies of bees going into next year. And that means that we'll then have uh, uh, the potential to get uh, a little bit more honey. Uh, honey is not the only reason for keeping bees. Uh, more is, again, just like with allotments. It's the joy of keeping bees, the interest that they can actually give. Uh, and uh, I have to say, just uh, working with, and uh, Speaking to other beekeepers, it, you know, there's a huge amount of interest and banter and you can talk about all sorts of things and certainly talk about bees until the cows come home or indeed the honey comes back into the hive. You tuned into Gospel for Grampian and I trust that you've been uh, interested and uh, in the uh, community elements that we've been picking out today for you. Uh, we hope that you will get in touch with us if you'd like to get in touch with us then it's uh, info at g number four g dot org dot uk we've got some great music for you coming up uh, now it's kim walker smith and uh, spirit break out and we wish you a very great weekend and a very great week uh, if you're going away on holiday uh, remember those hints and tips and uh, we hope that you have a great holiday, drive safely and, uh, and get back and uh, do tune in to Gospel for Grampian throughout as we'll have some great music for you. You'll be able to hear these hints and tips again and uh, do go to our website for more information. But for the moment.